scarlet blaze, severing the past. After a furious march, Edelgard's army restores a measure of peace to the imperiled lands of Hrim, only to learn of a revolt at Fort Mercius, staged by the deposed Duke Eyre. The disturbance in Hrim was but a feint to give those who slither in the dark time to capture Mercius, and eventually the capital of Enbar. But Edelgard moves to thwart them. You heard, Duke Eyre? Viscount Menya has hastened from afar to join your cause. Our houses, Fenya and Menya, share a distant blood ancestor. And now we stand together again to save the Empire from her plight. Hastened from afar with what? That miserable smattering of soldiers? From what I hear, Menya's heir is a rabid supporter of the Emperor. Are you certain the father is not being foisted on us just to get him out of the picture? Absolutely not. And besides, all of House Fenya is united behind you. If we appeal to the other lords jointly, I'm certain a multitude of troops will flock to Fort Mercius. I should hope so. I've no idea why they'd side with that pathetic excuse for an emperor. Only I, Ludwig von Eyre, can restore Adrestia to its former glory. About those mages, they say they want to, uh, alter the fort's defenses? Fine, fine. Let them do as they wish. So long as we're outnumbered, we must embrace creative solutions. Edelgard will strike the moment we give any indication we're after the capital. We'll lure her troops inside, then dispose of them all at once. It will be an easy victory. I always knew you were a brilliant tactician. They will never see it coming. Now, if we might discuss key posts in your future administration. I can only hope Her Majesty is weak and foolish enough to be so ensnared. It was never my intent to divide the Empire in war. That's not what I wanted. If she'd said one word, one word, indicating there might be a place for me, none of this would have been necessary. Enough. I must purge my mind of such thoughts. I must win. I must prevail over her. And if I cannot, you must be the one to cut me down, Ferdinand. Edelgard, do you have a moment? Of course, Ferdinand, but please keep it short. It is about my father. My pleas for a fair trial cost you time and delayed his sentencing. It also gave the Knights of Saros an opening to conduct their raid, which provided him ample opportunity to stage an escape. I am to blame for all that has transpired. Let me hurry you along to the point, if I may. What are you going to do about it? Or, more likely, what do you want me to do about it? Put me in the field when we retake Fort Mercius, and permit me to rectify my own mistake. Will you allow me that? <sighs> I was wondering when you'd ask. Don't worry, I've already made the arrangements. But you mustn't do anything reckless. You will stick to the battle plan, and that is a direct order. Ah, Edelgard, you are the very picture of reason, the very epitome of wise stewardship. Enough. You can gush over me after the battle if you still feel the urge. We've no idea how things will go after all, and you may be in a very different mood. True. All the same, I am grateful. Thank you. You can come out, Hubert. I know you're listening. I came to give you the latest report, Your Majesty, but decided to wait until this other business reached its conclusion. Then you know what must be done. Make sure he's given protection. Oh, I will if I find the time. You do keep me quite busy, after all. You've found a way to take care of them? I can assure you, those Cretans will rue ever setting foot in Her Majesty's fortress. They wanted thick walls. 
and we will give them the thickest ones a coffin can provide. This is our chance to decimate the forces of those who slither in the dark. Hmm. I have an idea. Hey, so hear me out. What do you think of this? Hey, so hear me out. I'll do what I can. Shall we? Our scouts have returned from Fort Mercius. There's less movement than we anticipated. That likely means the former Duke Iyer wants us to attack the fortress to make up for his disadvantage in troop strength. The numbers don't lie. One needs three times the forces of their enemy to claim a castle in a siege. Although, that's if you attempt to take it head on. So, do we have a plan or what? I mean, Fort Mercius is basically impenetrable. <laughs> Actually, this one time we came home well after curfew and had to try and sneak back in. Turns out there was no way in. The guards mistook us for bandits and father shouted at us until he lost his voice. <sighs> Good times. The good news is that we have learned of a passage into the fort which has been kept secret since its construction. The bad news is that I are likely also learned of the passage when he was Prime Minister. Unless his reason has completely taken flight, the man will take some sort of measures to defend it. The fortress is huge in size. We should organize small teams and be attacking from many points. If we achieve success, we can open the gates from the inside and be giving the enemy a surprise. It only serves other regions if the Empire starts shedding Empire blood. We should find a resolution that minimizes casualties on both sides. Um, is this the part where I chime in? Because, um, if you want to coax someone out of hiding, breaking down the door is the wrong way to go about it. That'll only push them further into their shells, so I think we should try talking to them instead. Is it just me, or is our corner of the world an uncontrolled mess? Why don't we just put all of your plans into action? We've got the numbers to do it. We can sneak soldiers in, use the secret passage, talk it out, and apply brute force all at the same time. As long as one of those approaches works, we'll win. That's actually not a bad plan, and it didn't even come from me. Amazing! I mean, the brute force part is a little risky, but I dare say, you're learning. Hmm. An intriguing idea. But what about the hostages? If we force our way in, they're likely to be killed. I will not permit that to happen. And while my father may be a fallen noble, he is still a noble, and not the sort of man to start butchering innocent people when the tides turn. I pray you are right, Ferdinand. Though I believe you never know what a person is capable of until they act. We will proceed with this plan at once, adapting as the situations dictate. We cannot fail. Not here. Not now. Everyone is prepared, it's time to make our move. Our troops attacking the gates have been instructed not to force their way in. Before long, the enemy will notice as much and realize we're already inside. We need to locate and strike down the rebel leader. That should put an end to the insurrection. Along the way, you may encounter suspicious agents. They are the true masterminds behind the rebellion, and must all be eradicated. Got it. Now let's get going before those bloodthirsty monsters hurt any of the hostages. I haven't been this angry in a long time. When is that man going to stop being a thorn in Her Majesty's side? Ah, how splendid. But do try not to become so flush with rage that you make a foolish error. Perhaps if you grew flush with rage every now and again, you wouldn't have the complexion of a coffin dweller. Quiet, both of you. You don't have to do this, Ferdinand. You can always stay back if you have doubts. No. Fate put me on this path. 
And now, I must walk it. Soldiers have breached our fortifications! To arms! Defend the glory of the Empire! They've seen through our ruse already. Prepare to take the fortress. Our detachment is safely inside. We should wait to see how the enemy responds before. Start by seizing the inner wall. Mercenaries are no better than common bandits. How could my father make a deal with such a pack of rogues? Take a breather. Out of the way! Looks like they're here. And once we kill them all, we'll have more riches than we know what to do with. <laughs> Looks like this ain't your lucky day. We should have expected an ambush. We used to play hide and seek here all the time. I'm on fire! This is going well. Almost too well. Is I truly so short It appears we have taken control of the fortress walls. Now we can move our catapults into position and attack. That barrier was formed with dark magic. We must eliminate the caster in order to pass. They only delay the inevitable. Unleash the tunnels. Break our enemy's spirit. We have the enemy where we want them! Unleash the arrows! Those ballistae require stopping! <laughs> if it's magic walls or what have you... If you go in the way of Her Majesty, My turn. you will pay. fools. And to think I was entertaining the idea of letting you scamper away. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Let's move out. What was that attack? <laughs> <laughs> I give you the first one. I hope you are doing most of the line, because that's exactly what's about to happen to you. <laughs> Don't be fools to try and force our way through this. Time has come to call upon our detachment. A weapon of that scale is certain to be controlled by some kind of device. On your command, we can use the agents we scattered amongst the rebels to throw the enemy into disarray. Tanks! I've been defanged. They got him? I do not appreciate that. It was a mistake to join this rebellion. Our allegiance lies with Emperor Edelgard. What's going on? Who's switching sides? Out of the way! No. This is wrong! I can't die! I 
am your man! Get in there and hammer them while they're pinned down by that magic weapon! Are you kidding me? Reinforcements? This day just keeps getting better. I never expected much from those shifty vermin. And here I am with the cold embrace of the gray hovering at my shoulder. Well, we've smashed their little toy. Let's see what their next move will be. I thought our victory was assured. How could everything have gone so long? There is not left but to resist with all our might. Help me push them back. The writing is on the wall, but those fools would sooner perish than admit it. I'm the Fire Lord! We'll rain death down upon them from above! Fire Lords? Those must be new. Who the fuck should you ask me? You look real dangerous, though. Also, what's a ghost? It's time. Conjure a magic shield to safeguard our comrades. Pay attention now. Your Majesty, forgive my weakness. The outer defenses only just fell. On the card, your timing is perfect. Is that Voldemar? Curse that man. Why must he always show up at the worst possible moment and ruin everything? Viscount Fenya, Viscount Menya, fuck you. I'm coming for you, father. To the enemy, no place to hide. Seize every key position in the fortress. He is getting too close to do higher. We must hurry to his side. Oh, but you are far too late now. My name is Ludwig von Heyer. I see the Empire in the throes of a terrible sickness. And I intend to cure it, or die in the attempt. No mercy! This is war! That is enough. There is no escape for you. <laughs> Go on then. I'll leave for you the final blow. You leave me nothing. This was ever my burden to bear. Father! No, you are just a traitor now. <clears throat> In light of your crimes against the Empire, the punishment is death! <laughs> Send a runner to House Menya and have them deliver the letter I drafted. Also, take the soldiers under your command and begin investigating any magic constructs abandoned by the enemy. At once, Lord Hubert. <sighs> it must be awful to end your own parents' life. Shouldn't you say something? You comforted Flesh, after all. Come on, Ferdinand. Let's get going. No. You may continue without me. I would like to stay here a moment. Just a moment longer. 
Hubert, we have a messenger from the Alliance, and I need to know where our Western campaign stands. Ferdinand, may I have a word? I thought I'd let you decide how to punish your father's followers now that they've surrendered. Uh. Furthermore, this incident has led to the end of Fenya and several other noble houses. We need to settle the matter of the next Duke Iyer, and we need to do so quickly. So if you don't mind... Is this your attempt at solace, Edelgard? What? I will punish the troops, and I will find a way to administer my father's lands. You can trust in me, Your Majesty. And thank you for considering my feelings in the matter. I will not stop until I achieve greatness! I never expected we'd have our hands this full after returning from Fargus. Still, we've managed to quell the turmoil and maneuver our way back to Enbar. Due to the valiant efforts of Count Berglis and his Aryan Road garrison, the Kingdom's counter-offensive has hardly put a dent in the Western Lines. I wager the reinforcements reached them in time. It's a good thing we do not have to maintain a large military presence in Leicester. But of course, that was Her Majesty's plan all along. We'd be up to our shoulders in trouble if we hadn't settled hostilities with the Alliance. Do you think people in the Empire will be alright? I'm worried about the Opera Company, of course, but I'd also be devastated if anything happened to my friends in the capital. The end result of all this was the complete expurgation of the Empire's remaining dissidents. <laughs> in a way, we should be thanking them for handing us this opportunity on a gilded platter. Adrestia deserves some stability for a change, so I think it's good that Her Majesty has total power now. With the opposing nobles wiped out, it's a breath of fresh air after the way things were under the old Emperor. Lynn, think about who's here. It is all right, Dorothea. I have moved on. It's funny, though. I was sure my father would take part in the rebellion, but he just... didn't. I mean, I feel like all he ever did was complain about Her Majesty, you know? I guess he was so scared of the church that he decided to stay holed up in Garrett Mach. What is our next action, Lady Edelgard? If we are returning to the Western Front, I will have preparedness. Fighting your own people sure takes the thrill out of battle. So let's go wall up the kingdom instead and put an end to all this. Who's with me? All that remains is for Adrestia to claim victory. And along those lines, I wish to present an idea. One last stratagem to ensure that we prevail. We were successful in striking down Cronia at Fort Mercius. However, Lord Arendelle, which is to say Talus, remains at large. And any schemes Solon may be plotting are so much conjecture in the wind. Still, his efforts in Hrim territory effectively empowered the late Duke Eyre to stage a coup. Whatever the case, he must have a very good reason for seeking to prevent the Kingdom's fall. But why would they help the people who are harboring the Archbishop? It makes no sense. Unless their aim is simply to prevent the war from ending by any means possible. We know the Kingdom's court mage, Cornelia, is connected to those who slither in the dark. They may have planted other associates in Fargus as well. If they already have the King's court dancing on strings, it stands to reason they would focus their attention on obstructing the Empire. I agree the theory hangs together, but does that mean we should expect more interference? We should, Your Majesty. Though I would at least like to think they no longer have anyone left who can act brazenly in the open. And need we worry about our mercenary friend? I was under the assumption that they had your implicit trust. Absolutely but not enough to purge all of the doubt from my heart. I once trusted my uncle, as well as the late Duke Iyer, and he wasn't even replaced with a doppelganger. 
people who come in contact with those who slither in the dark are not the same afterward. How am I to trust anyone in a world where such a thing can happen? I do not disagree, Your Majesty. Yes, well, we must remain vigilant until the war is over for good and all. Although I wonder if we can rest easy even then. We still don't really know much about Solon, Kranya, and Talus. I was thinking this would be a chance to learn about my power, or who you actually are. But oh well. Oh well. Is that all you have to say for yourself? I mean, I'm still curious, but my attention right now is on the battles ahead. And hey, it's not like knowing the truth would change much for you anyway. Even if I am related to those slithering people somehow, it's not like I'd want to split up with you. Plus, I need to focus on getting ready to face the Ashen Demon again. Now that's what I like to hear. It's incredible to see again just how fast you've matured. Makes me proud to call you my partner in destiny. <laughs> Is this what being a parent feels like? Uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, this war will be over soon, so let's do what we've got to do to see it through together. I'll be counting on you, Arval. And I on you, so promise me you'll do what needs to be done.